Good morning everyone, I'm back and uh, it is a sunny, sunny day in, I was going to say southern Holland, but that it's not southern Holland. We're in the uh, east of Holland. But it's hot and it's going to get hotter because we're going to have a heat wave striking us starting tomorrow. We're going to go to 40 Celsius and uh, if you're in Australia, think about... Uh, 120 something like that that's how hot it's going to feel but it's okay we have air conditioning this is the updated list of june 2019 and i'd like to thank everyone who's on there i really appreciate it um i'm going to uh when the book gets published and guys the book is not all about me i'm just a little section in the book it's all about acrylic uh, painting and there's a little section with acrylic pouring and I'm hoping to receive a couple of copies of that book I will write uh, the person I think uh, to Monday or something and uh, <clears throat> if they send me a few I'm gonna do that in um, a giveaway I'm gonna give a copy away okie dokie yeah that's gonna be fun so what I had, I had a lot of plans, really a lot, but I'm not sure if the weather's gonna prevent me from doing something because it's already in the studio 23 Celsius as we speak. Um, what I uh, wanna do is the same thing I did last week with the uh, open cup thing, thingamajingy. See the cup where I cut out the bottom? And uh, I just wanna see if I can make one just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to put some uh, paint on there and spread that out a little bit. And the ring, ring pour I did on this paper, that turned out amazing. I will show you. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? And look how nice and flexible it is. You can do everything with this. And that's just because it's... Kodak Extra Life paper. Kodak people get on to work with this stuff, make it again because a lot of people are looking for it. They can't buy it. So uh, this is a uh, really nice, flexible. You can do all sorts of things with it. Um, if you're into decoupage, you could uh, decoupage with this, and uh, it's uh, it has a nice, solid feeling to it, and uh, you can you know put it into all kinds of shapes anything you'd like I'm sure your mind is already racing with all the projects you could do with this stuff so what I'm uh, trying to do is do a, the open cup thing because I really like that one I'm gonna do a giveaway uh, uh, not, not a giveaway I'm gonna let you guys download that print so um, everyone that's on the uh, computer under this video you will have that little thingamajing that says more information that's where I'll put the link to the uh, to the print I think I might even frame it for you <laughs> so that you can send it to the printer or do it yourself so I'm uh, sort of making sure this is nice and flat okay we're ready for the colors now um, I'm gonna put this down here, but I'm gonna shove it up so that it sort of makes good contact with the uh, with the paper. Putting a little bit more paint along the sides, and then I'm going to start and add the colors. Now, I want to make sure that we get nice. Vir variety, I don't know how you call it, variation of colors. Let's just stick with variation. <laughs> variety, I think it's what you guys say. I'm going to put in some dark turquoise. And we're going to put in some more white. This one has silicone in it. A little bit of dark brown, just a little itty bitty. Ooh, this one's a little thicker than the others. 
got to make sure that they're all the same consistency. Then some nice light turquoise, and it's still in there. I'm not seeing anything seeping out. See that? And that's because um, I pressed down on the little cup to make it have contact with the uh, with the paper. I shouldn't talk too much because uh, then it will be seeping out. I'm pretty sure. So a little bit more. Yep, there it goes. Now's the time to start moving this stuff. There we go. And already we have some really awesome cells popping up. But I'm sorry for the tapping, but I did want to uh, move it a little bit more. Wow, that's crazy. These are some really nice cells. I don't know why it is, but the cells look different when you do it like this. I'm going to give you guys a really some close-ups because this, it's just spectacular. It really is. I don't want to lose it, but I do want to make them a little bit bigger. This is so awesome. Look at that. Now, I'll zoom you in on this bit that is really pretty okay back to focus oh I'm seeing so many parts that I think I could you know do cool stuff with um, let's see how that looks in a frame Let's say we take this frame. That will look really nice. That will, oh no, this one. This is beautiful. Yep, I'm gonna frame this and this, this, uh, this I'll use for pendants, but this is what I wanna frame. Look at that, that is beautiful. Okay, now I have this on my board. I should have taken it, something else. Oh no, this will work. We go. I'm putting this one away. So I'll uh, just do one tiny one and then uh, I'm going to uh, prep a canvas and I'm going to do this on a canvas because um, I think it's really, really nice. Oh, oh no, I wanted to put in a little bit more water because I wanted to test if the uh, colors are gonna go into the background if I make it a little thinner. So that's that. I'm just gonna leave it there as a nice round splotch. That's my word for something that I can't come up with that fast. So we're gonna put this right there and oh, wrong one got to do this one there we go nicely surrounded now we're going to do that again so we're going to put in the turquoise we're going to put in some burnt sienna this time we're going to thin out the dark brown just a little bit because it was a little on the thick side It still is. Maybe it's the color. Sometimes the colors act differently. This one was a little on the thick side too. Just had to add a little bit more silicone. There we go. A little silicone in this one because I, I was thinking I don't think I had silicone in this one okay I think it's almost ready to come out but we could add a little bit more of this I like that brown really do and 
this turquoise. Okay, yep, starting to move. See that? And once it starts to move, you gotta really make sure it comes out. So, here we go. I'm gonna really make it move, 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 move. And then we're gonna torch it. That's kind of different when we have this is uh, the different color. That's kind of nice, but I, I like the other one a little bit better. So let's do something to it. See what happens. This still is pretty, this bit. See how much fun you can have with this? You can move it all over the place. Uh, I do sort of like this bit here. Can you hear that ticking? I think it's a bird on the roof. I like this bit here. So what I would like to do is put it in a smaller frame though. Just this bit here. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Maybe we should spread out the background color just a little. Just to give us a little bit more um, of a, um, a room to uh, frame it. So that's what I'm doing right now. nice. There you go. Oh, this is getting really big. <laughs> did you see it grow? I bet you did. That is really starting to make something pretty. This bit here. That is kind of pretty. Now I'm sort of um, thinking, why wasn't it more that way? And it'll still be nice. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah, that's still going to work. Okay, uh. let's put this one away. And then I'll be right back and we can uh, do uh, a canvas with this. I think I'm going to be needing more cups to manipulate on the canvas because I'm going to try and do a bigger one. So I'll be right back. Love you all to pieces. Later.